Hey, I'm Kim Barnes Jefferson, and I help women to break free of the rules and doubts that keep them stuck so they can live a life of infinite possibilities. And so for me, my fitness journey started uh, back in 2001. You know, I was a busy uh, executive and I was running around and if food wasn't delivered to me or I could pick it up on the way home, I really didn't eat. And let's just say my diet my diet was crap. It was pizza, it was calzone, it was Chinese food. It was anything that was fast, simple, and easy. Although I didn't eat McDonald's, because I was like, well, I can't eat McDonald's, that's just not good. But you know, a good calzone with cheese was fine. So, I, you know, I get married, and I, and I turned to my husband, and I said, you know what, we're married now, and, you can't die on me and I can't die on you. So we should take better care of our health. So we gave each other a personal trainer for Christmas. And so when you give a personal trainer to each other for Christmas, it's not like you're calling the other person fat because that's just rude. So that's what we did. So we meet our trainer and he literally just blew up my world. <laughs> he had us keep a food log for three days and he looked at what we were eating and basically like, I think he laughed, fell out of his chair with laughter of what we thought was healthy. So, you know, that day we said, it was a Saturday, we met with him. And then we said that Saturday, we're like, all right, we're gonna go out, we're gonna have our last meal, and then we're gonna throw everything that he made fun of us. We're gonna throw it out and we're gonna go to the grocery store and we're gonna start a new. And that's what we did. And so that January morning in 2002, we started down the path of health. And I would, I wanna say that for the last 18 years, we've been pretty good at keeping up, living a healthy and clean lifestyle. And, you know, were there bumps along the way? Absolutely, you know, there, anytime you set a path on anything you wanna do in your life, it's not smooth sailing. I mean, I wish I could say that, but yeah, there've been bumps, there's been ups, there's been downs, but for the most part, we have our parameters um, around what makes a healthy lifestyle. You know, um, I have my three non-negotiables. You know, every single day I have a green, I have a big ass salad. Uh, every single day I try to move my body 30 minutes and it's movement. It's not kick ass workout, it's just movement. And then I always make sure that I'm getting at least seven hours of sleep. And so those are like kind of the things that I've continued to do over the last um, 18 years. You know, my husband, his thing is, you know, his, his thing was he likes to drink. So he, his challenge for himself was he doesn't drink during the week. And that's been, that's him, he's been able to keep that up. And if he does have to go out and entertain clients, he keeps to one drink. So we found a way to have that balance of fun with keeping a healthy lifestyle. Don't get me wrong, I do have my treats. A um, couple times a week, I, I budget in for some fun and some treats. But it really wasn't until the Red Sox won the World Series that my I said, you know what, I need another challenge. And in 2004, if you don't know anything about the Red Sox, it took them 86 years to win the World Series. And for me, I was like, you know what? If the Red Sox can win the World Series, anything's possible. And that has been my motto ever since. And since 2004, the Red Sox have gone on to win three World Series. And every single time I've said, okay, it's time to up my game. It's time to up my game. It's time to up my game. Well, here we are, 2019. The Red Sox won the World Series in 2018. So again, time to up my game. And I'm gonna put that challenge out to you. What would upping your game look like? For me, upping my game is I want to show up. I want to not back away from things. I want to keep things simple. Those, those are my two guiding principles that I'm going to focus on. And that, you know, that's helped me in 2004 and it's going to help me in 2019. So I challenge you, what's something that you need to show up for? What is something that you can easily put as one of your non-negotiables for health? Now, I'm not saying you gotta come home and clean out your cabinets and, and you know toss everything. No, 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 if that's not your jam, don't do that. But what's one thing? And I'd love to hear what that one thing that you could do to either 
add health to your life or something that you need to take away to add health to your life. So leave me a comment below. If there's someone who needs to hear this message, do me a favor, tag them, share this, whatever you need um, to do, I would absolutely love that. So have a fabulous day. Again, I'm Kim Barnes Jefferson.